Hi guys, welcome to the collage project. Uh, this is a review of what we did last week in class. Um, what you can expect is several videos um, step by step what, with what we did. Um, each video will be assigned to a quest. Once you're done, you'll type done in the reply box in the quest and it will release the next consecutive video. And by the time you're done each video, you should have a completed project. Okay, so first um, let's start with the details of this. I opened up a picture that I ta had taken in the summer. Um, it's uh, one I'm going to use for my base uh, for this collage project. Um, also, I'm going to be using the theme of uh, For Everything There's a Season uh, from Ecclesiastes as my Bible verse. Um, now, the next thing that I want to do is just kind of like talk about Photoshop on a whole and how it works. So um, here we have the option bar and if you follow the option bar all the way over you're going to see essentials and this is the type of layout for the screen and this is what I want you all to have your screen set to. So if yours says something other than essentials hit this drop down button and choose essentials. If what you have does say essentials come down to where it says reset essentials and click on that so that it just arranges everything in the same way. <clears throat> the next thing that I want to do is concentrate a little bit on this layers palette over here. And I'm going to pull my layers palette out of the dock station so that you can kind of see what I'm talking about. You can leave yours back here if you wish. Okay, so now notice that I have one layer and this layer is called a backgrounds layer and it's locked. And I can't unlock it by clicking on this key, this lock thing over here. What I have to do to unlock this background layer is double click on the gray area of the layer. And then this dialog box comes up and it says name layer zero. And that's what I want. So I'm just going to click OK. Now I have an unlocked layer zero layer. And um, I also have this little eyeball here that tells me that I'm viewing the layer. So if I click the, the eyeball off, notice that the picture goes away that's on this layer. And what I'm seeing are these uh, little squares, these gray and white squares that indicate for Photoshop transparency. So I'm going to put this eyeball back on. <clears throat> the no another thing that I want to do is check out my file size. So I'm going to go up to image image size, <clears throat> excuse me, and I'm going to take a note of the document size right here. It's my width is 36 inches by 24 inches and I have a 72 DPI or dots per inch resolution. Now my file size is pretty big so my resolution not being 300 here is okay. I can leave this at 72. Now if your file size is 11 by eight and a half or higher, then your picture that you chose will be fine. If your file size is lower than these numbers, then you need to get a different picture because the file might be too pixelated. You can try to bump up the resolution your dots per inch and see if that helps the resolution at all. Um, make the size 11 by 8.5. Um, keep in mind that um, these numbers are constrained angle. So if you change one number, like in this case, if I change this to 11, notice how my height automatically changed this to 7.33. And that's because my constrained proportion box is checked, meaning that I don't want to warp the angle of the picture. I don't want it to look distorted. I want to keep the same angle. If that's not going to be a problem for you, you can unconstrain it and then put in the numbers that you wish. I'm going to keep my file size large and it's, it, um, it's not too large where it's going to give me a lag time. It's a good size, so I'm just going to cancel out of this. Um, but I just want to make sure that you know that your file size needs to be at least 8.5 by 11, 11 by 8.5, whichever, you know, portrait landscape. Okay. With that said, the last thing that I want to do for this video is duplicate this layer here. So I'm going to go um, up to the layer. I'm going to right click on this layer. I'm going to choose the duplicate layer. I'm going to call this filter. 
and click OK. So now I have two of the exact same layers. One is layer zero, one is layer filter, and I'm able to um, click on either one of them. And um, at this point, I'm good, and I want to sign off. Make sure that you have these things done for your uh, picture, for your collage project.